as the villain slowly reveals his final form. Yo, I ain't gonna lie. Vegeta was an asshole for this. It was to a point where I wanted to reach through the screen and just punch him right in the face. What's happening, people? It's your boy Blaze here, back at you with another one here for Venomous Reactions, and you already know what it is, man. You see the shirt? <laughs> yep, you gotta rep it, man. One time for the GOAT, Akira Toriyama. Ah, this one's for you, my guy. And this one comes from Watch Mojo. This is the top 20 awesome Dragon Ball power up scenes. Now, we've seen some historic transformations. And I, I know quite a few that should be on the list already. Super Saiyan 3, Goku, bar none. Goku first time going Super Saiyan, bar none. And Beast Gohan. Mm. Just to name a few, but I know, I know they have to be on this list. I, I, I just have a feeling they're on this list, so Without further ado, we're going to see what Watch Mojo is talking about with the top 20 awesome Dragon Ball power up scenes. So, without further ado, let's get it. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the coolest, craziest, or most legendary surges of strength in all of Dragon Ball. Mm -hmm. Allied to good! Nightmare to you! Yes! Number 20, Orange Piccolo. Piccolo, yep. most of the time getting beaten to a pulp and slammed into a pit isn't a great way to win a fight. But no mm. need to worry, Piccolo had a backup plan by the name of Shenron. That he did. Oh, this was so good. The wish granting dragon unlocked the Namekian's latent potential, and the results are plain to see. Erupting from a pillar of orange energy, Piccolo's return to the battlefield is the very definition of epic. If you want to know just how strong this form is, look no further than the fact that Piccolo doesn't even flinch at Gamma 2's attacks anymore. Its resident Namekian was long overdue a transformation, and thankfully, Orange Piccolo's debut was worth the wait. Well now, thank you, Shenron. <laughs> a little extra went a long way. Number 19. Man, honestly, that was a feel-good moment for Piccolo. And to see him actually get his shine, and as he said, it was long overdue. Because Piccolo, he he's been holding his own ever since Dragon Ball Super came out. Like he wasn't just sitting around and waste wasting away and watching watching everyone get that power up. And Piccolo was he was determined not to uh, be left behind. So. When he got that orange form, ooh, 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 ooh. that was a thing of beauty. I swear. Golden Freezer. Freezer. Over the years, there's been a lot of gilded transformations in Dragon Ball from Goku, Gohan, Vegeta, and yes, even Frieza. If I had yep. evolved to a new level myself, then this might have proven rather perilous for me. But although we've already seen the space tyrant try on the golden look, this scene sells the weight of the power-up like never mm -hmm. before. The sharp and detailed animation fills the screen with so much gold, the glow of it can literally be seen from space. It's more than a mere paint job, All though. Facts. The only thing cooler than the transformation itself is watching Freezer use his new power to utterly obliterate the poor assassins. I know gold's a bit gauche, but I wanted to ensure you grasp my new position atop the pecking order. After a power boost like this, <laughs> Classic these guys Freezer. never stood a chance. <laughs> Number 18, Super Saiyan 3. Ooh, Go this text. is a 
This is a good one. without some dramatic flair to Goten and Trunks, the answer is nothing. That's why when push came to shove, they still held onto their trump card until the very end. I was just trying to make the fight more fantastic. If you would have let me, I could have taken care of Maju Boo and we'd be on the outside now. You blew it! You watch. It's only when they're trying. <laughs> uh, that's when Gotex decided to be overconfident and cocky. <laughs> because he wanted the fight to be fantastic. When it, when it comes to dealing with high power super villains you can't do that you have to you have to seal the deal close the deal by any means necessary because if you don't that window of opportunity is going to get it's going to get narrow more narrow by the minute by the hour whatever the case may be so yeah it would have been nice to see Super Saiyan 3 go takes finish off a uh, Super Boo, but uh, you can't do anything about that now, so I'm just saying. Trapped in the hyperbolic <laughs> time chamber with the fate of the Earth hanging in the balance, that they finally unveil Super Saiyan 3 in all its yep. glory. On principle, the roar that triggers the iconic <laughs> golden mullet just can't be beat. But it's even more memorable because of how much character is packed into its hilarious context. In the end, Gotenks got their wish. They saved the day and looked damn cool while doing it. Your body, you've been transformed. <laughs> if you like the new look, you should. <laughs> Number 17, Evil Boo. Mushroom. <sighs> don't want to make this guy mad, not just because Boo's an all-powerful villain with no moral compass, but also because he has some serious anger management issues. That's an understatement. You fool, I'm Majin Boo. So much so that Majin Boo's fury manifests into a whole other version of himself. That's right, two Boo's for the price of one, and neither is particularly friendly. But as if the grace of Evil Boo wasn't frightening enough, he then eats his original form, transforming again into the new and improved Super Boo. Each form is scarier, cooler, and more insane than the last. But from a character like Boo, we shouldn't be surprised. <laughs> Number 16. I'll go lie, when Super Boo came, came onto the scene, oh, that changed the landscape of everything. Uh, to see uh, the original Majin Boo, the, the big Majin Boo, get beat by his evil counterpart, and the transformation was just awesomely frightening. And what he did to that, what he did to old boy that uh, wanted to hunt down Hercule, yeah, that's forever burning my memory banks. But damn. Legendary Super Saiyan, Broly. With one key blast and of one course. hell of a monologue, Freezer triggered one of the most iconic Super Saiyan transformations in decades. Now, what if we said that was just the start? It's your father! He was sealed by a stray energy blast! Yo, yo Freezer was a shit for this. Super Broly doesn't skimp in the animation department, and that's no clearer than when its title character finally lives up to his potential. <laughs> There's no other way to put it. Broly's explosive final transformation is a pure spectacle through and through. But rest assured, it's got some serious power behind it too. Not just anyone can keep up with Gogeta himself. After witnessing Broly's jaw-dropping strength, it's obvious why they call him the legendary Super Saiyan. Mm -hmm. He, he ate Number that 15, with ease. Super Saiyan God, Goku. To unlock the red hair dye, it took a threat to Earth, an ancient ceremony, and the power of five Saiyans. Yet, somehow, Super Saiyan God was worth it all. Trading golden hair for it a was. aura, this new style proved that Goku could still tussle with the best of them, even literal destroyer gods. So tell me, how does it feel? <laughs> <laughs> it's incredible. 
While the red hairdo is it was incredible pace, the real meat of this glow up comes from Goku's high flying spat with Beerus. In just mm -hmm. one fight, Super Saiyan God earned itself a place as one of the most impressive Saiyan skills to date, and there's a lot of them. Take your strength because it's not yours. That's right. Ooh. Ooh. Yo, I ain't gonna lie. Uh, Super Saiyan God was a thing of beauty and the fact that <laughs> Beerus asked that infamous question what you hate you hate the fact that that power is not yours meaning that he did obtain the power himself and he was like yes oh that response just sends chills down your spine don't it <laughs> Number 14, Super Saiyan Rose, Goku Black. By Dragon Ball Super, we'd pretty much seen the whole Saiyan rainbow. But then, mm -hmm. Goku Black came along. Instead of the standard gold, red, or blue, the doppelganger went with pink. And just like that, Super Saiyan Rose was born. What Super Saiyan it? Rose. Quite the color, huh? The look on Trunks and Vegeta's face says it all. This is unlike anything we've seen before. It's new, it's intimidating, and most of all, it's stylish as hell. As a test drive, Goku it is, though. dices through Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta like it's a warm-up. Super With Saiyan Rose ease. isn't the last new form introduced in the future Trunks arc, but it's still the most memorable. But I'll show you how far I've come. Say what? <laughs> Number 13, Super Saiyan, Trunks. Oh. Yep. Back in the day when classic Super Saiyan still meant something, few debuts did it as well as Trunks's. Taking place in a timeline devastated by the androids, you can practically feel the Saiyan's heartbroken rage. Especially mm -hmm. since he's sitting over the body of his dead mentor, Gohan. Ooh. The rain, the music, the voice acting, all together, it's an emotional gut punch you simply can't look away from, no matter how hard you try. Mm. There's not many transformations in all of Dragon Ball that are this tragic, but then again, that's precisely why Trunks turning Super Saiyan is one for the history books. Number 12, that is Super Saiyan 4, Goku. Uh, what's that transformation I sense? Ooh. Love or hate it, at least something good did come out of Dragon Ball GT. After a less than stellar 34 episodes, things finally started to pick up halfway through the baby saga. After transforming into Golden Uzaru, Audiences were treated to a brief look into Goku's fractured mind before Super Saiyan 4 is unleashed. <laughs> the design is pretty look at that sight. but the experience was sweet all the same, due to how long fans were left waiting to see Goku as an adult once again. Man, he hit the nail on the head. Love it or hate it, Dragon Ball GT gave us something that we all look forward to. Super Saiyan 4. Woo! One of Goku's most devastating forms yet until Super came along. But man, Super Saiyan 4. Mm. That transformation. Uh, it makes me want to go back and watch it all over again <laughs> like for real instinct and, goku and this is a double one a precursor to the awesomeness to come dragon ball super's universe survival arc does not lack capable warriors with universe 11's jiren being absurdly strong mm -hmm. After overpowering Goku and returning his spirit bomb, the Saiyan loses consciousness and falls right into the massive ball of energy. At first, people assume the worst before Goku is reborn in an entirely new form. 
The shimmering aura proves to be the tipping point needed to finally put Jiren and his universal cronies <laughs> on the back step. Hold on. Let's go back to that look, though. His universal cronies on the... Look at that look. <sighs> Ultra Instinct during the uni Universal Tournament? Mm. Back, that was when Goku was untouchable. And then when he went full on mastered Ultra Instinct? Oh, Jiren was less shook in his boots. <laughs> Every single moment that passed, Jiren was like, yo, I cannot beat this for him. Like, what can I do? What can I do to topple this new form that Goku has obtained? <laughs> yeah, I love that good feel. Every, sing every single arc that the Dragon Ball franchise had, that moment where it, it was pretty much at its climax. <sighs> good times, good times. The bank step. <laughs> Number 10, Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Goku. Once Super Saiyan was introduced, Kaioken quickly became obsolete. Created by King Kai, it did. Goku successfully uses the technique multiple times during the Saiyan and Namek sagas. I am still figuring it out. At this point, I only have about a 1 in 10 chance of pulling it off. Fast forward nearly mm. two decades, and the power-up is suddenly resurrected for Dragon Ball Super. In the final battle of the Universe 6 tournament, the assassin Hit has Goku on the ropes, so the Saiyan activates Kaioken while in his Super Saiyan Blue form. Quite the color combo. I know. Yep. This ain't the. This isn't the first time that uh he combined Super Saiyan Four with Kaioken. Cause if you remember, back in the Other World Tournament, when he went up against Paikai, he combines the Super Saiyan form with Kaioken. Even though it was brief, but it was awesome to see, and to see it in his full form in Dragon Ball Super, when he, when they went up against Universe Six, oh, it was a thing of beauty. Number nine, final form, Frieza. <laughs> uh. Self-proclaimed ruler and Dragon Ball's baddest of bads, King Cold's second son is arguably the most iconic villain of the franchise. Born with enough power to destroy entire planets, Frieza did not need to train a single day in his life. <laughs> While fighting Vegeta that one on Namek, day. the sadistic ruler goes through a handful of transformations, with each yep. one being bigger than the last. Not to mention more frightening. <laughs> After announcing there is one more change, Toriyama <laughs> subverted expectations by having Frieza's final form be way smaller but much scarier. <laughs> no lies told there. Number 8, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan, Vegeta. You can always count on Vegeta to take Ooh. a moment of despair and turn it into a crowd pleaser. With Goku laying helpless on the floor, Frieza summons Vegeta and asks him to prove his allegiance by killing off Kakarot. But I've already made my decision. I'm going to pulverize you until there's nothing left. <laughs> Instead, the prince transforms effortlessly into Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan, more commonly known now as Super Saiyan Blue, wiping the smirk off Frieza's face. No, this can't be real! Considering Vegeta used to be terrified of the tyrant, this mm -hmm. real reversal provided much needed closure. <sighs> there has never been a more prouder moment of Vegeta than this right here. Because to see him obtain this form and erase all fears of Frieza altogether. Mm. That was such a feel good moment. And I, even I was like, yes, yes, Yo, give Frieza the beats, please. <laughs> and that he did with finesse. 
even though Frieza did pull a bitch move <laughs> trying to blow up the earth. But it was still good to see. <laughs> Number seven, Perfect Cell. Cell. Yes, Cell's final transformation is at last at hand. Soon he will be the greatest adversary I have ever faced. Vegeta's pride ruins the day mm. once again. Semi Perfect Cell was far from a pushover. Oh, he was an asshole for this. During their fight. Unfortunately, the Saiyan Prince prioritized his own ego and refused to deliver the final blow until Cell achieved perfection. After swallowing up Android 18, we are treated to a mesmerizing light show as the villain slowly reveals his final form. Yo, I ain't gonna lie. Vegeta was an asshole for this. It was to a point where I wanted to reach through the screen and just punch him right in the face. Like, dude, you had the win. And you let your ego get the best of you. To a point where, like, you know what? You know what? Screw it. I'll, I'll let you transform. Just so I can beat you at your absolute best. Instead of finishing you off in your pitiful state. Big mistake, Vegeta. And you deserve... You're just desserts, just for this moment. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. <laughs> as one of the best villains in the franchise, this transformation is fondly remembered as a standout yep. moment of the series. <laughs> uh, Krillin trying his best, but it was to no avail. <laughs> Number six, Beast Gohan. Go yes! Shatter your limits must run in the family. When both his daughter and Piccolo are put on the chopping block, Gohan becomes so angry he gets a kind of power. This transformation himself. was beast. Course, it comes with one hell of a jaw-dropping debut. That mm -hmm. Okay then, guess it's my turn. <laughs> Gohan's enraged roar is, well, bestial. With a power level as big as his new hair, the beast form is the <laughs> best part of Gohan's character, all wrapped into one spine-tingling fight scene. Fittingly, it's against none other than Cell Max. Just mm -hmm. try not to blink through it. Beast Gohan is so overpowered, our only complaint is we wanted to see more of it. <laughs> Yo, I'm not even gonna lie. It was nice to see Gohan get a new form, but... He said it best. We wanted to see more. We wanted to see more. We wanted to see Gohan torture Cell Max for every evil thing he has done. But that transformation, though, whoo! Chef's kiss on that. Special. Number five, Super that Saiyan. just makes it even Vegeta. better. Well, better late than never. I'll test these androids, <laughs> but then you're next, got it? After seeing Goku yeah, better and late than never. beat him to the punch, Vegeta finally manages to turn Super Saiyan after pushing himself to near death. As far as transformations go, this one is rather short and straight to the point. <laughs> <laughs> With the prince delivering his classic one-liners before powering up. I didn't care about anything. And then <laughs> it happened. While still very much yes. in his arrogant anti-hero phase, witnessing Vegeta he was, this uh... level of strength was quite something, especially with the beatdown that followed. I am the prince of all Saiyans once again. <laughs> Enough of this nonsense. <laughs> Number four, mastered ultra instinct. Goku, yep. you're doing something right when even the gods of destruction stand to offer their respect. Throughout the mm -hmm. tournament of power, Goku's uphill fights against Jiren pushed him to near divine levels of strength. And in the 11th hour, it all paid off in a scene that speaks for itself. <laughs> 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 
sporting incredible build-up and top-rate animation, the unveiling of Mastered Ultra Instinct is by and large the crowning moment <laughs> of all Dragon Ball Super. It manages to culminate the tournament, Goku's character, and the entire arc of the show in one breathtaking moment. Even if Goku surpasses mm -hmm. his limits again one day, there will never be anything quite like Ultra Instinct. Autonomous Ultra Instinct! Autonomous Ultra Instinct. I ain't gonna lie. The animation on that was bar none. And the it, it showcased the many transitions he had to go through in order to get to that level. And whew, that dodge game whew, was impeccable. It left Jiren st standing in his own shadow every single attempt he made Woo! Uh, such good moments i love it number three super saiyan 2 Go i guess on. i can see Everyone why this is number three breaking points don't think you can beat me just by powering up <laughs> a big mistake sale boy Goku's big mistake does not really enjoy fighting but he is willing to do anything to protect those important to him Facts. Look at what you've done. Perfect Cell spends episode after episode tormenting <laughs> that, Gohan that to try and awaken his real power before the death of Android 16 sends the young Saiyan over the deep end. <laughs> Incredible. Mm. From Super Saiyan 2's electrifying design to that bone chilling scream. Cell got more than he bargained for, and then some. That he did. <laughs> and every time, he was like, you know what? Let me push the envelope just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. And every time he poked the cage, Gohan was on the verge of snapping. And when he did, it was that precise moment of saying, uh, Cell, you know you fucked up, right? Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm just saying, I'm just saying, you know, you fucked up, right? Yeah, you wanted this? Well, be careful what you ask for, because you about to get it. You about to get these hands. <laughs> oh, ah, gotta love the Cell Saga, man. I love it. <laughs> Look at this. He Number is... Two, Super Saiyan, <sighs> Goku. I won't let you. It's the form that changed everything. Prior to this historic mm -hmm. transformation, fans were still waiting to see if the legendary Super Saiyan myth held any water. Believing that Goku's fierce spirit bomb put Freezer down for the count, Krillin and Piccolo hmm. are defenseless so he thought. as the tyrant launches a counterattack. Uh, it's Freezer! <laughs> Fueled by the explosive Ooh. death of his best friend, Goku loses control and taps into his inner Saiyan, going mm -hmm. golden in the process. I will never forget seeing that transformation. Mm. And what set him over the edge was seeing Frieza blow up his best friend. That really pushed him over the edge. And he was like, you know what? You want to be merciless? Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna show you a reason why you're about to pay for your crimes, and why you should not push me too far. Even today, <laughs> the scene still gives us goosebumps. <sighs> mm -mm -mm. Continue. Be sure to subscribe I wonder what's to our one, and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, Super Saiyan 3, Goku. The screen I, to I end see all why. screens. I see why. Super Saiyan 3 might be Goku's least utilized form, but the transformation was beyond perfect. <laughs> and, this, and definitely unforgettable. What is he doing? Is to go. 
even further beyond! While most power-ups tend to happen out of nowhere and rather quickly, Goku achieved Super Saiyan 3 <laughs> deliberately <laughs> that after around yell, minutes of build-up. <laughs> this sequence is intercut with shots of tsunamis, earthquakes, and a panicking King Kai. <laughs> no, stop it, Goku! Suggesting Goku's new form might not be the greatest idea given the magnitude of force it is able to exert. Mm. It's amazing to behold. <laughs> What's your favorite Dragon Ball power up? Don't mm, be shy. Mm, mm. Let us know in those comments below. When you're backed into a corner, Goku. <laughs> it's almost scary what you're capable of. Did you enjoy this video? Check out Facts. these other clips from Watch Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. Yo, this was an awesome display from start to finish. I mean, every transformation we have saw, yo, it lived up to the hype, man. Yo, with Orange Piccolo trailing down to number one being Goku Super Saiyan 3, Woo. Everyone, every one of those transformations, uh, chef's kiss on that. But yo, let me know what y'all thought about this list for Watch Mojo and which one was your favorite transformation from the list? Yo, let me know, let me know down in the comment section down below. And as always, thank y'all for tuning in. Hopefully y'all enjoyed this one. And don't forget to tell your peoples across the globe to kick it with your boy just one good solid time. Like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to share. Don't forget to click that bell so you don't miss a video from the kid. You heard me. And please feel free to follow me on social media right over yonder. Now, this is your boy Blaze here saying Chuck the Deuce, and I will see y'all in the next video. And I'm out.